And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and we're going to check out the Boss OC5 today. Yes, Octave and stuff. The brand new Octave, well, the newer Octave. It was Boss. brand new a few months ago. When it was brand new, it was brand new. Yes. And we finally got our hands on one to demo and check out in Big person. Thank you to Ed and all the people at Boss from Australia for sending that out. Hi, Ed. Thanks, man. That's really cool. And um, so the setup today. Yes. All the guitars going through the octave. I'm going to do bass too, so stick around for that. Yes. Uh, into a Mozotronics amp switcher, into a Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20, into an ISOK with a greenback, Mike the Lute MTP 440. Lute people. And also a two notes Torpedo Captor X doing some stereo IRs of quad boxes. Yes. Yeah. And there's a video for the Captor X there. Mm. And we're going to check out some sounds. If you hit like and subscribe on the video, though, give us a thumbs up. It helps us do a thing. Comments, questions below. You know how I've been saying about 90% of our viewers are not subscribed? Yes. Now about 92% of our viewers are not subscribed. <laughs> it's gone up. Subscribe, people. You. So, <laughs> yes, it helps us do it. Yes, thing. it helps us a lot. So um, this one has a few more features than the older yes. models. So, so uh, the, the OC5, um, you basically have, this is almost like a WAZA, OC2 WAZA, oh, yeah. to a certain degree, but it's not. Um, so you've got in here, I don't know if you can really see it, but in there you've got a little switch that goes from vintage to poly. Uh, we're currently in a vintage mode, which the vintage mode is meant to be basically like the OC2, mm. but with the added benefit of an octave up as well. Yeah. So you've got the four knobs, you've got direct level, you've got one octave up, you've got one octave down, and you've got two octaves down. Once you go into poly mode, the two octaves down thing actually changes to something else, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, so should we just have a look now? Yeah, should we just check? Um, at, at vintage mode, sure. which is monophonic. Do you want to do that? Yeah, got your guitar on. So this is clean tone. At the moment, while Alex is getting funky, we only have the direct level on. So this is just basically, direct level is just whatever the guitar is, right? So it pretty much sounds exactly the same yeah. if you're playing something. That's that. Wow. Okay, so now what we can do is we can start introducing octaves. So we can, let's, let's start off like the old OC2, and there will be a shootout video, by the way, between this and the OC2 coming up, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let's introduce some lower octave. If you subscribe and ding the bell, we'll let you know when the video is Exactly. Up. See what I did there? Yes. See what he did there? All right, let's add a lower let's octave. Stupid octave there. So, I mean, that's basically what an OC2 would be like. Yeah. Just it tracks better. Yeah, yeah. It's um, very good at the track. It goes, it goes much lower. As in, you know, mm. the OC2 kind of starts crapping out a bit once you get too low. Um, okay, now, new thing on this, octave up. Let's add an octave up wow. to the mix as well. So, actually, let's get rid of the, oc the octaves down, both sure. octaves down. And let's just add an octave up to the clean signal.
can't sweep with an LT. <laughs> no, well, yeah, no. I can't really sweep anyway. Um, um, so that's a, a, a distortion pedal. Mm. It's a rat. We just we had a rat here. Use a rat just to get something gnarly um, after it. It's pretty cool. It tracks really well, I think. Yeah. It tracks definitely much better than the OC2 does. And it, it tracks, it's up there with a lot of other Octavus, same sort of tracking. Okay. Should we take out the dry suit? Just okay. get real synthy? Get real synthy with drive. Uh, eventually, yeah. Let's start off without drive, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Let's get rid of the octave down. It's of two octaves up and one octave. Uh, sorry, one octave up and two octaves down. Sure. Filter, or if you make it quite dark, okay, get more like Very short delay, and I added a bit of reverb um, in the Captor X. Um, but you get can get those quite sort of synthy kind of sounds. But maybe it's because of the type of distortion too, it kind of has this very retro sounding stoner rock thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I, I only had a rat here. I, I've got you know other, but I thought a rat um, kind of angry, yeah. angry distortion, which it. works well with that. I found it does suit it. Do you want to... Um, um, okay, yeah, do you want me to have a go? Okay, yeah. so I've got my Fano on this MG6 and a clean. What happened then? But clean, it sounds like this. So, let's start with, say, nothing. <laughs> A bit of delay. Okay. So I really like that really short kind of delay. So metallic flux. A little lower.
It's cool. It tracks wow. really well. I think it, it, it goes lower than the old OC2. Yep. I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's now so, check out yeah. um, uh, poly mode. So once you go into poly mode, uh, things change ever so slightly. Just... So the controller that used to be two octaves down is now the range control. And if you watch my unboxing video, which is here, um, I didn't quite work it out at first, but you have this thing down the bottom here called um, lowest. So if you set it to lowest, what it will actually do in polyphonic mode is if you pl whatever chord it is you're playing, it will take the lowest note and add a lower octave to it or add the octave to it. Once you get past that, it is range. And what range does is that you can actually set where you want the lower octave to be. So do you only want the lowest notes up to maybe like an A or so to have a lower octave yeah. attached to it? Uh, and everything above it kind of doesn't have it. So let, let, let's just quickly, with range, for example, let's have a look. So if I just bring in a lower octave, and actually let's get rid of the, uh, do you, if you want to play. Yeah. I'll just bring in just a lower octave. Right? Isn't it high? Oh, sorry, that's a higher octave. I'll just bring in a lower octave. Yeah. Um, and if you start playing, I don't know, somewhere like a, like a D or something, and just go down, you start hearing the octave coming in. Mm. So it goes away there, right? As you turn it up, it goes higher. So the lower okay. octave is. I mean, I have the 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 clean the direct sound off, which you. It, it's a, if you ever like with analog uh, style or that sort of analog style. Um, I don't think it's probably completely analog because of the polyphonic thing. I doubt it. But with that sort of analog style octaves, the octaves are usually very quiet and sort of more woofy kind of sounding they're not super yeah. pristine and clean and i think they're going for that more animal kind of vibe so now that i turn a range thing up again with no direct level you should be able to go much higher with the octave okay and it kind of goes away as yeah. you go up to, and, and you can sort of set it you can go up all the way So you can make That's it go away. So it, you can basically use it as a bass pedal. So you play chords, mm. uh, and it will only affect the lowest notes. Well, if you're playing big riffage stuff. Big riffage, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. get sort of weird other higher notes triggering the... Or if you're like a solo acoustic performer, and you mm. want, uh, like, have, you know, fatten up the sound by having a bass. So you can still play the chords, but you can say, okay, I really only want it to go up to, I don't know, like a, like a B or something. Sure. That's just, so you can find where that note is, and then you yeah. set it. So this is the next thing we can start doing now, is we can start introducing the direct sound. And because it's polyphonic, you can play chords. I was just playing chords and he was playing bass, but the high notes didn't have an octave on it. Definitely. And it, it, like I said, you can set it wherever you want. The next thing you can start doing, you can also do is you can go to what's called lowest. So what lowest is, it will look at the chord you're playing and it will add an octave to only the lowest note in the chord. So you can play higher chords as well and it will, it will add a, 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 an octave down to the yeah. lowest note. If you play single notes, it will add an octave down to it as well. Let's get rid of the higher octave just for that. So it only adds that octave to the... Yeah. So you can kind of set it to whatever you want it to be in that, in that respect. Uh, or you can then basically, um, you can set it somewhere like high up, like that, for example. Yeah. So all the notes will be affected. So it is more like a, like other competitive brands that full, may have a, yeah. like a full polyphonic octave generator of some sort. Get rid 
dry, a bit more organy, I guess. Oh, broken organ. Yes. Even though I've not warmed up, <laughs> it um, still tracks pretty good. Hey? It tracks really well. Yeah. Yeah. I think it tracks really good. Oh. So I mean, that's basically that. Um, yeah. uh, you also have a direct out. So for, uh, I know a lot of people that you know you have a lot of these. For example, like white stripey kind of bands. Yep. We have maybe drums and a. Um, uh, and a guitar player, and the guitar player takes care of kind of bass duties as well. Mm. You have a direct out as well, so you can split the two signals. You can have a, uh, you know, dry signal going to to one amp, and then you can have a like an almost bass rig going the other direction. Uh, we haven't got that hooked up for that, so um, let's just dry out. So the other thing that we can do is it's just a dry out. Yeah, the other thing you can do is hook up a bass. Now what we've got to do is we've got to unplug this. Yeah, do it. We've got to plug it into here. Put it in the thing. And, and then there's a little switch in the back, and there'll be a photo of that where you go from guitar to bass. Actually, let's leave it on guitar. Let's see what the difference is. Yeah. So we're on a bass now, and the bass sounds like this. Oh, oh wait. I did turn it down. Let's try this again. Bass sounds like this. So let's go to vintage mode again. Let's just see what it does on the guitar setting. Okay. Feels like it tracks better. Tracks better? Yeah, maybe yeah. it's just tracks. It's more set for lower frequencies. Yeah. Lower freaks. So we're set on the bass setting now, um, and yeah. we're staying on the bass setting. Mm -hmm. And we should say, so we're going. Let's just go direct in, directly into through DI into mm. this magical computer world. Magical computer wor world. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's do the same thing. So we're in a vintage setting. Um, let's let's just kind of bring in a few different sounds. Mm -hmm. Look out. Um, so that's, uh, I mean, would you really use, let, let's, let's try a polyphonic mode, I guess, yeah. uh, with the bass. It feels cleaner. If Polyphonic mode? Yeah, you probably won't use chords because you'll just annoy everyone else in the band. But it feels like, you know, some old octave, analog octaves, they kind of almost nail it. And it's, it's kind a glitchy of, sound. That's yeah, cool. And it's kind of in that you love them for it. Yeah. Uh, this feels more digital, more precise. Okay. More on it. Yeah. Um, that's a, and a preference thing. I so guess. with this as well, I guess I don't know. Let's 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 see what happens if you set lowest. Okay. Let's go to lowest. If you play chords. <laughs> let's get rid of the direct signal again, just to hear what it actually sounds like. So this is now just the octave down. It goes 
goes low. It goes super low. Yeah. So let's... And what, hang on. So what happens actually with this? Because we haven't tried it out yet. Uh, with the range. Oh, yeah. So it does the same. It does work, it's yeah. probably not what you want on the bass, because I'd say often with the octave is you want the higher notes to be happening. So let's, I reckon let's turn this up all the way. Yeah. Uh, so now it should just be the, it should work everywhere now, the lower note. So if you hit like a like a power chord, does that work? It struggles a little bit, but because I mean a lot of bass players are play chords. Yeah. You know they're almost like the rhythm guitar, like Motorhead. Yeah. <laughs> he was a rhythm guitar player, right? Um, uh, uh, uh. Well, now let's try that. So let's find a set. Let's again. Let's try to make it sort of sound synthy with the rat. Sure. I guess the um, no dry and no dry. Okay. Even just the two octaves, but a little less of the high. Well, like this, the if you play single notes, it'll be every single note. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little. Almost has a little bit of a, like an envelope kind of sound. Slightly. Maybe it's because it's pick how I'm playing it too, yeah. It's like uh, a dong dong dong. Yeah, it has like a little envelope kind that's of. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So now if we if we get ratty with that. Yes. That sounds synthy. That sounds very synthy. What's a what's a cool bass line? What's a synth bass? Uh uh, uh funky town. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Greg G in the <laughs> G, yeah. G fun. Well, a lot of it, like songs like Superstition and that, it's synth bass, it's not real yeah. bass. Like yeah. funky, funky stuff. Well,. Even, what bass is doing, isn't it, it sounds kind of cool though, yeah. Yeah, totally. Even live, you can see, like, if you, I mean, if you watch live Stevie Wonder stuff, mm. um, of the like the last tour he did, like a decade ago, whenever it was, he for Superstition, the big, 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 big bass player plays synth for Superstition. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah right. he plays bass synth for that. Okay, well, let's 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 distort it. I think for that kind of riffy stuff, the vintage setting sounds much better. Yeah, cool. Because when I went to vintage, it got much more precise. Works better like, if, right. if you try it, like, again, um, that's polyphonic. So, yeah, so here now. sounds good huge but know what everyone wants to know do they yes what does it sound like if you go with a guitar direct in oh my god and a rap <laughs> guitar just going directly in now mm -hmm. this is what it sounds like with a rat direct in she sounds quite good so that's just going 
straight into. I mean, there's a preamp there and stuff, but yeah. that's oh, direct. That's actually quite a good direct sound. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, okay. But I'm gonna set it to guitar setting again. Not sure what to do there with the low E. That's cool. It's really maybe around about that sort of B flat B when it actually knows what's going on. Sure. With the, I mean that's the the second octave down. Don't turn down. Sounds really good directing the rat. Surprisingly, I mean, in a nutshell, that's the what kind of a nut has a shell like this. Anyway, <laughs> um, in a nutshell, that's uh, the OC5. Uh, I think it's really cool. I think it's it's definitely a step up. It tracks way better. Yeah. Um, if you're into that polyphonic kind of you know the chord mm. thing, uh, yeah. I personally no. I'm just saying. I personally, I I I. I probably would only use a vintage mode just because I'm not necessarily the polyphonic -y kind of guy sure but it'll be interesting to see how that compares and it will be very shortly there'll be a video between this and the OC2 how they kind of compare mm, and you can see that once you subscribe and ding the bell exactly also this guy <laughs> the polyphonic thing will work really cool if you're doing looping stuff and doing the Ed Sheeran kind of solo yeah. or um, any sort of loopy type things or multiple layers type pop synth band or something? Well, I do want to try it out. Uh, I do lots of acoustic gigs. I haven't sure. tried it out, but I do want to try it out with acoustic gigs because I think having a, a lower octave there for chords, yeah, uh, it just adds thickness to it. The only thing I always find once you start using it, you have to use it for all, every, all the time because yes. otherwise then once you stop using it, it kind of goes away and it just everything becomes small. Yeah. Um, so you kind of have to incorporate it into all your stuff. Yeah. Whether it works or not is a different question, but um, I mean, if you, especially if you're playing um, in a in a, if you're one of those guys who does a lot of looping, maybe has a stomp box, so you know when you're playing, it becomes a fairly big production. Mm. Having something like that where you can set how low, or you can set how high up the octaves go, yes, yeah. so you can only have them for the lowest note. So you know you can play normal chords without having to loop extra bass lines and stuff like that. You can just play normal chords, loop mm. that. I think it's quite a good thing. Like it, 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 it's, it's very usable, let's say it that way. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah. Comments below. Use peeps. <laughs> Use peeps. Use I, peeps out there. You're so hip. Yes, totally. Hip, hip, hip and a hopping. And um, yeah, comments, questions below. And yep. look, so we're going to check out this against the OC2. So stay tuned for that. And um, thanks again to Ed for sending yes. this to us. Yes, Boss Ron, really, Australia. Really appreciate all the stuff you've done for us so far. Yes, 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 yes. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. We'll see you soon. Catch you around. Bye. <laughs>